Hi, are you ready to get that employer branding strategy under control? All right, so this is video number two in this employer branding strategy series. So in the first video, I talked about how the employee plays an important role in your employer branding strategy. In this video, I'm talking about how important your customers are in this overall equation of building a strong employer brand. So let's dive in. If you're new here, my name is Janika, and I'm here to help you build a better workplace through the use of technology. And in this video, let's talk about those customers, shall we? Because before you can even finalize all the details that goes into your employer brand, you have to make sure that your customers are being taken care of because we all know with no customers or clients, you really don't have a business. So let's first think about your overall customer experience. What type of experience do you want your customers to have when they walk into your establishment or when they choose to do business with you? Your employees are at ground zero, interacting and talking to your customers on a regular basis. And you want that experience to be pleasurable for them. Because we all know a dissatisfied customer is going to go out and tell six or 10 other people of what a horrible experience they had at your establishment. And the employees are at the center of that. So let's talk about capturing some of the analytics, some of the feedback from your customers that's regarding their experience that they had in your organization. Are you handing out those surveys to your customer base to see where you can get better, where you can improve, where you're falling short, and how you can continue to win their business. I know that there's like this really simple thing that Walmart does where they give you like a little survey if you utilize their grocery pickup service. And a lot of other companies choose to email those surveys and that's perfectly fine too. So whatever, shape or form that you decide to use to gather customer feedback, you want to do that as soon as possible. And customers will likely share their experiences, especially if it's negative. So you wanna make sure that you're capturing all of those negative encounters and analyzing it, getting it all together and really diving into the root cause of the issue and how you can address it head on and fix it. Another thing is the online reviews that you may be receiving, whether it's on your native website or whether it's on some other customer alert type of website. You want to go in, look through all of those negative recent reviews. I would say probably within the last year, look at those reviews and analyze that information as well, because that is critical to helping you understand how your customers are being treated as they interact with your employees. So you may be asking, Yannicka, why are you so focused on our customers? Our customers are happy. There's nothing wrong. We have plenty of business coming in the door. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly okay. If your customers are happy, then capture that happiness and include it into your overall employer brand. Because happy customers will tell more people to come and shop with you or do business with you. And they're more likely to encourage their friends and family to work for your organization as well. So think about the last time you were greeted when you went into an establishment or decided to do business with someone and you're greeted as you walk into the door. Think about how that made you feel and think about your likelihood of returning. You want that same experience for your customers as well. 
and you want to continue hiring the same type of employees who are going to give your customers that ultimate experience. Let's go for another scenario of you being stuck on the phone with a customer service representative who, who is not gonna solve your issue at all and how frustrating it is to be in that situation and you know that you're not going to sign another contract to deal with this company because their customer service really sucks. So think about that when you are trying to establish a stronger employer brand so you can attract more candidates, more qualified candidates to work for your organization. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of homework in this video and I'm going to ask you to look at all of the reviews within the past year for your organization or any sort of feedback that you've received from your clients or from your customer and I want you to really analyze what's going on and leave those comments below on how you plan to address the issue that your customers are having and how you're going to incorporate that into your employer brand. And trust me, candidates are always on the search for a nice, work environment. So if your business is in the public eye and all of your customers aren't being treated very well by the employees and the employees have a nasty attitude, your potential candidates are interacting with them as well. And they're like, man, this place, their hiring strategy really sucks because they allow all of these people to work for this organization who don't even want to be here. So think about that and think about how you're gonna address the issue with your existing employees because how your employees interact with your customers affect your customers and then your customers are all a part of this giant employer branding strategy. So, that's it for this video. So in the third video, we're going to talk about candidates and attracting candidates. And I know all of this kind of bleeds together and it's perfectly okay. Each of these videos in this series, there's gonna be three. So each of these are all related to each other. So to summarize, fix, what's going on within your organization right now with your existing employees and second in line, fix what's going on with your customers and make sure that your customers are happy because a happy customer will tell more of their friends and family to shop with you and to do business with you and they will recommend top employees to work for your organization. That's it for me in this video. If you like what you've heard, click subscribe and I will see you in the next video.